what up guys hope everything's going well wanted to do a quick video on gold and re regarding gold i saw this uh the other day um mark cuban was basically saying gold is dead and he said bitcoin is technology and he was going back and forth with peter schiff and as we know uh interest rates have been going up and up and up the 10 year and you know from a trading perspective that has hurt the reflation trade for the time being but you know the interesting part is mark cuban is saying this when bitcoin has been rallying like crazy and when he has been involved in nba top shot which i did on my other channel which i basically think that is something that we should not be getting into. And in addition to that, we should also look at the technical side of uh, gold and silver and interest rates. And I'll go to David Brady. Uh, this is over at Twitter. And uh, he has this, the weekly 30-year yield chart in a bearish flag right now. This is the other day. Extreme RSI, high since May 2006, yes, 15 years ago. MACD's highest since 2016 when gold bottomed at 11.24. Turned down to begin in a matter of a few days, in his opinion. And you, you could see here from the chart of the interest rates, the 30-year, and he basically believes that it's topping out. And then you look at other indicators, the RSI is it's overbought, and you know, high smack D's for quite some time. So all I can say is, you know, Mark Cuban is saying this when he's hyping up this NBA top shot which I don't believe anyone should put a penny into, like I talked about in my video on my other channel. And he's saying gold is dead when interest rates are topping out. So based on that, I started putting, you know, I started to buy more options in, you know, the Wheaton Precious Metals, the SIL, the Silver ETF, the GDX, started to, you know, buy more of those this week. And I was also buying the S&P 500, even though the market was a bit choppy. And, you know, I didn't like this week. Didn't fare too well until, you know, the end of today, where the stock market just had a huge short squeeze. I do expect the market to go higher. Ultimately, though, you know, more stimulus is coming along the way. That stimulus should provide gold and silver to go up and you know as in addition the stock market should go higher as well even though we had this correction and you know the fed chairman made some comments and you know the market went a little haywire but that was just a correction in my opinion i do believe that you know interest rates will go down a little bit in the 10 year and, you know, this should just bode well for the market. And if you look at some other plays that have taken a hit based on higher interest rates, those stocks should probably do well. I'm looking at Apple right now as well. So, you know, uh, there's a good opportunity this week. And, you know, before the stimulus comes, you know, it should be great. And in addition, you know, some of these cards have taken a breather as well and not i'm not saying to get into these sports cards but you know there are some good opportunities right now and some people are still going to get stimulus checks so you know i'm probably going to be selling some cards while people use their stimulus checks to keep on buying more cards anyways guys let me know what you think i'll talk to you later